I guess that's my. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Recording Holy. in progress. Amen. Amen. Horatio Imperata against COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant always to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We apply to your protection, a holy matter of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome, my dear brothers and sisters, to our online celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Our Mass sponsor for this month of August, Sister Divine Naum and Sister Meldi Sabag. We are now on the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time with our team, Long Live the Humble and the Generous. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Robin Dagala from the parish of Mary, uh, Mary Magdalene Parish. Please all stand as we now begin our Eucharistic celebration. Celebrate the marvels of God as done. 
Son. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be God who exalts the lowly and rejects the proud. May his love and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to our online Mass. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us humbly acknowledge our unworthiness and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You reject the proud and the arrogant, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You accepted the humiliation of the cross for our sake, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are exalted at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Can be seated for the liturgy of the word.
in our first reading, humility, eagerness to learn real wisdom, and generosity were virtues exalted by the wise people of old, like Syrah. His advice is most appropriate even in our days, for the virtues he inculcates are timeless values. Let us listen to the first reading. A proclamation from the book of Sirach. My child, conduct your affairs with humility and you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. Humble yourself, the more, the greater you are and you, and you will find favor with God. What is too sublime for you? Seek not into things beyond your strength. Search not. The mind of a sage appreciates proverbs, and an attentive ear is the joy of the wise. Water quenches a flaming fire, and arms atone for sins. The word of the Lord. Salamat sa Diyos, salamat sa Diyos, sa wika mong banal, salamat po. Salamat sa Diyos, salamat sa Diyos, sa buktong mong anak, salamat. You 
second reading, Jesus is the mediator of the new covenant, the new relationship with God, which is characterized not by fear, but by trust and communion with angels and saints. Our second reading. A proclamation from the letter of the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, you have not approached that which could be touched and the blazing fire and gloomy darkness and storm from the trumpet blast and the voice speaking words such that those who heard began that no message for further address to them. No, no you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and countless angels in past and still gatherings, and the assembly of the firstborn born enrolled in heaven, and God, the judge of all, and the spirit of the just made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator, of a new covenant and the sprinkled blood that speak more equally than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Please all stand to honor the gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline a table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest invited by him and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, give your and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, Go and take the lowest place, so that when he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Then he said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch for a dinner, do not invite or your brothers or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated and listen to the homily. I would like to greet a pleasant Sunday to everybody. Blessed Sunday to you too, Father. We heard from our gospel that Jesus Christ was invited for a dinner in a house of a leading Pharisee. Leading Pharisee means pinono na mga Pariseo. And there were many Pharisees who went there to also dine with Jesus. Now, the purpose of going there is not only to eat, but to, is to observe carefully about Jesus Christ. By detail, they observe how Jesus Christ walks or speaks or whatever they wanted to observe Jesus Christ carefully so that they can have something bad to say against him. So by detail, ang halos silang lahat inobserba nila si Jesus para sirain at pintasan si Jesus. Pero baliktad ang nangyayari. Hindi si Jesus nakitaan ng pagkakitaan ng pagkakamali ni Jesus. Ano? Nag-uunahan sila na makaupo sa mataas na mga upo ang nakalaan lamang sa mga pangunahing panauhin. For the VIPs, they would like to sit on the higher level. Kaya sabi ni Kristo, kayo ha, pag inaanyayahan kayo, huwag kayong umupo sa matataas na mga ubuan. 
kasi baka meron pang inimbita na mas mataas pa sa iyo at lalapit sa iyo, nag-imbita sa iyo at sabi, sabihin sa iyo, pakibigay mo na yung upuan dito sa aking mga bisita at doon ka sa likuran. <laughs> sabi ni Jesus, nang sa ganun, ay mapapahiya ka kung ganun ang gagawin mo. No, so, so Jesus Christ about but of course this is not only about table but it is about a certain attitude and character that Jesus Christ would like to have them to practice and what is that humility as a nagpapakataas sa ibababa at ang nagpapakababa ay itataas. So, the common topic of this celebration is that Christ teaches us how to live and to have this virtue of humility in our life. And it is being backgrounded in our first reading from the book of Syrac na sinasabi, My child, conduct your affairs with humility. The more humble yourself, the more the greater you are. The higher you are, the more that you be, you have to be humble. No, so humility, it is the topic that is very difficult to practice and it is even difficult to detect if the person is practicing humility. But you know, humility is the very important virtue of a Christian faithful. Now, I will not tell you how to practice humility. There are many of them. No. Uh, but I would like to share to you why do we need to become humble. Now, first of all, we need to become humble because of the person back on me, at my back, who is Jesus Christ. This is the main reason why we have to be humble. Because this man crucified on the cross humbled himself. Mataas na siya, nasa langit na, pero siya ay bumaba sa lupa. That is an act of humility. Ang sarap-sarap na ng buhay ni Jesus sa langit eh, bumaba pa siya sa lupa. Ayun, nakatikim tuloy sa kasakim, ka, kalupitan ng tao. Yun. Kaya, He is God and yet, nagpakababa siya. And look at him when he was punished, he was sentenced to death. Sinipa, dinuraan, sinampal, pinagwiwikaan ng iba't ibang uri na masamang salita. Did he retaliate? Did he take revenge? Nakipagmurahan ba siya sabagat siya minura? Sinigawan siya? Nakipagsigawan ba siya? No. He humbled himself. So this is the main reason why we have to be humble. Because Jesus Christ humbled himself. And the most humiliating experience of Jesus Christ was he was crucified on the cross. Kasi yun ang pinakamalupit at nakakahiyang parusa sa mga tao nung araw, panahon ng mga Romano. Kasi pag ikay nakapako sa krus, ibig sabihin masama kang tao. Ibig sabihin magnanakaw ka siguro. Ayun kayo nga si Jesus eh. Napalibutan ng magnanakaw, si Dimas at saka si Istas. Eh, tao ka, kaya ikaw ay pinako sa krus. 
and all kinds of accusations ay nandun sa iyo. So that was not only a painful punishment towards Jesus, but, but the, also the most humiliating uh, experience of Jesus Christ. Uh, sinampal. Ano kayong pakiramdaman mo, no? O yung nanay mo at tatay mo, sinampal mo. Ano ka klasik yung anak? Eh, yung pa kayang Diyos, sinampal mo. Dinuraan, tinadyakan, ipinako sa krus. But again, Christ, our point is, Christ did not retaliate and take revenge, but He humbled Himself. Kaya, kinakailangan pala tayo magpakumbaba. Kinakailangan pala tayo masyadong magmatamat, magmamataas. Pang at masyadong matapang makipagmurahan at makipagpatayan no eh para lamang yan dun sa mga taong uh, hindi sumasampalataya sa Diyos ibi sabi in those people who have you know a very bad attitude now why is it that of course humanly speaking it is not easy to develop or to have this virtue of humility But we can hardly practice it. Why? Why is it that it is very difficult to observe and practice humility? Because we are using the standard of this world. And what is the standard of this world? Ang sinasabi ko sa nandigdig nito, dapat lagi kayong matapang. Dapat malakas ka. Dapat lumaban ka. Kasi pag hindi ka lumaban, sasabihin sa iyo, ah, duwag ka pala eh. Pag hindi ka lumaban, ay, kasi kasalanan mo, mali ka eh. Pero, that is not the way it is when we practice Christian virtue of humility. Kasi Christ did not retaliate. He, 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 he is not a confrontational God. Kung gagamitin natin ang ang standard ng daigdig, we cannot really practice humility. Instead, mga kapatid, ay gamitin natin yung standard ni Jesus Christ. Kaya nga po yung ating ikalawang pagbasa eh, sinasabi dito, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem You have to approach Jesus Christ, the new Zion. What is that? The kingdom of God. According to the standard of the kingdom of God, not the, according to the standard of this world, because the standard of this world would like to dictate us, you do this and you do that. And the standard of this world is really very opposite to the standard of Christ. Because patawad magpakumbaba that is why pala we can hardly practice humility so the reason why we practice humility because of Jesus Christ our prime model of humility pangalawa mga kapatid we have to practice humility because kung masyado tayong matapang mapagmataas mayabang Uh, ano pa, all the negatives that other people wanted, ay, yan ang kasalanan ni Satanas, ni Satanas eh, at ng demonyo. So kung tayo masyadong matapang, magmamataas, number one lagi tayo, at gusto natin tayo ang mas mataas sa iba, we repeat the same mistake and error or sin of the devil. Sabagat ano bang kasalanan ng, ng demonyo, nais niyang mag...
the technical interruption. Are you still there? Amen. Hello, Sister Sally. Hello. Yes po, Father. Okay. Nandito po po. Nakikinig po kami, Father. Okay, okay. lang po. Yes po. <laughs> okay. Okay, part two of my homily. So, sinasabi natin ay uh, hindi tayo dapat maging mayabang, magmamataas, kasi yun ang kasalanan ni Satanas. No? Ni Satanas. Nasabing ni San Agustin, siniran ng demonyo ang order of existence. Nasalip na pangalawa lamang si Satanas, si Lucifer, ang leader ng angel, ay eh gusto niyang mas mataas pa siya sa Diyos. And yan din po ang tukso ni Satanas sa kinaadan at iba. No? Sabi kasi ni Satanas kina iba, kumain kayo. No? Sabi nila Adan at iba, we should not eat that fruit. Forbidden fruit, otherwise he will die. As sabi ni Satanas, he will not die. But he will become like God. Hmm, nandamay pa. Kayo, nadamay. Kaya, we should not repeat the same error or mistake or sin of the devil. Kaya nga, kung tayo mapagpakumbaba, we can be easily identified as follower of Christ, not the follower of, of the devil. Kaya, mga kapatid, we have to be humble. And, and one of the identities of a humble person is we associate those people who are also humble and also are poor. Ang tawag dito simbahan, mga kapatid, preferential option for the poor. Ang paghiling sa mga dukha at mga maralita, ang mga walang-wala, walang kapangyarihan, walang mga material na bagay, walang mga sinasabi, salipunan, yan tinatawag na preferential option of the poor. Yung mga hinapi, yung mga pinay, pinahirapan, ng lipunan. So, sabi nga, kaya nga sabi ni Kristo, when you hold a lunch or a dinner, Do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives dahil sila ay makaganti sa iyo sa halip ang imbitahan mo ay yung mga pilay, mga bulag, mga pulubi sabagat pag pinapakain mo sila, hindi nila kayang gantihan ka. Kaya association or your care for those people who are poor and powerless is also another sign of people who are humble. With the hope and pray that through the humility of Jesus Christ and with His Mother Mary, we will also be like Jesus who humbled Himself. Please all rise. I believe in one God, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers for the faithful. Today, God's Word teaches us the virtues of humility and generosity. 
aware of our moral weakness, let us ask for the grace of these virtues for ourselves and all brothers and sisters. Let us pray together, and our response is, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, you establish the church to be the instrument of salvation for all. May she fulfill your mission, her mission with humility, faithfulness, and dedication. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, you gave the Pope and all our religious leaders the task to teach the gospel in words and deeds. May they persevere in the good work of building your kingdom in the hearts of all people. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, you establish civil authorities to promote the common good. May our leaders promote justice, peace, and the welfare of all citizens. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, you enabled a number of countries to reach outstanding economic and technological progress. May their leaders extend generous help to the developing nations in a spirit of human solidarity. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, you want that all of us form a community of brothers and sisters bound together by mutual respect and love. May we avoid any act of pride which destroys such a communion. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, you showed yourself, your disciples, how to be humble and generous by being the servant of all and by giving your life for the salvation of mankind. Grant that we may follow your example and thus come to share your eternal life forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacred offering...
at what it celebrates the mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from the unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> You are, in, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. My God. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Benaventura, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. All stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing the Our Father. Lord, we pray from every, every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you, kapayapaan, peace, peace be with you all.
Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we prepare ourselves for the spiritual communion. Out of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our labor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Blessed Sunday. Nais ko pong pasalamatan ang lahat po ng ating pong mga uh, gumanap. Unang-una po ang ating pong uh, uh, butihing pari, Reverend Father Ruben Dagala for uh, celebrating po sa ating pong online mass ngayon. Sa aming pong uh, Barkada ni Cristo Choir, uh, Brother Ted, uh, Katiki, uh, uh, Banal na Santo Rosario po kanina, eh, Angelus, Axe Prayer, Commentator, Brother Larry, thank you po. Salmist, Sister Leia, uh, the readers, to, uh, uh, Brother Melvin, uh, Sister Risa, and sa ating pong Orasio Imperata, Sister Mylene, at uh, Nanay Luz, maraming salamat po. And sa ating pong uh, mga prayers of the faithful, sa family po ni uh, Brother Larry, maraming salamat po sa, sa wife and the children. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. And sa ating pong mga uh, participants na nandito po sa aming pong uh, Zoom, Zoom platform, maraming salamat. At sa mga viewers po namin sa Facebook page and sa YouTube channel, maraming salamat po sa inyo. At uh, nais ko pong pasalamatan po ang aming ang, uh, Sister Divine and Sister Meldy sa uh, sa kanila pong uh, pag-sponsor sa month of August. Maraming salamat po. God bless po sa inyong dalawa at sa lahat po. And uh, nais ko din pong i-welcome yung ating pong uh, September sponsor si Sister Mylene. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. And muli po, maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng mga nag dito sa ating pong uh, Zoom at sa mga ating mga bagong attendees maraming salamat and welcome po sa inyo and sana po ay lagi po namin kayong makasama at uh, makapiling dito po sa aming pong uh, banal na gawain ang banal na Santa Misa online. Thank you po and maraming salamat. God bless. Uh, maraming salamat po Father. Thank you. Maraming salamat, maraming salamat din po sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay dito sa ating online Sunday Mass para sa ating uh, pakikisa sa pagdiriwang na banal na misa, na sakripisyo ni Sos, at sa pagkikinig natin sa kanyang mga salita. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord make you grow in sincere humility and thereby enjoy the blessings He bestows on the humble of heart. Amen. May He give you a generous heart that you may do good to all only for love of Him and not in view of earthly reward. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the love that opens the door of eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God be with you always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Maraming salamat at magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Thank you. Bye-bye sa inyo. Thank you. Salamat, Mother. song of forgiveness and a song of gentle mercy and of peace Speak your words, your words.
Lord of mercy and of peace, and I will sing forever of your love, oh Lord. Yes, I will sing forever of your love, oh Lord. Thank you.